On September 12, 2022, the Moscow Police Department received a report that a group of students was walking between the steam plant parking lot, lot hash 14, and the Student Recreation Center on Paradise Path and were threatened by a person with a knife. No individual was harmed in that incident, but campus community members are advised to be cautious, the notification stated. The suspect was described as a white male between the ages of 18 and 22, wearing all black clothes and a black baseball cap, and riding a mountain bike. At approximately 1.15 p.m. Thursday, September 15, the City of Moscow Police Department identified the subject who allegedly displayed a knife to a group of individuals on the University of Idaho campus near the Student Recreation Center and the steam plant on September 12, 2022. The individual was cooperating with the police at the time. The same individual was brought back in for questioning on Tuesday, the 15th of November over the four students which were murdered in an off-campus rental home near the University of Idaho and not far from the Paradise Path where the knife brandishing incident had occurred. We learned a few things this afternoon. We'll start with what we have learned at the top here. First, we have learned that Moscow police said all four suspects were stabbed, although the police chief said no knife or weapon has been recovered at this point. Also, police say there were no signs of forced entry into the home. The door was still open when officers arrived, he said. And finally, investigators say they still don't have a suspect at this time. Moscow Police Chief James Fry, University of Idaho President Scott Green, and the Director of Idaho State Police Colonel Kedrick Wills all spoke at today's press conference. Up to this point, police have just said the four students were dead inside that home late Sunday morning when they arrived. We learned yesterday that whoever killed them used what they described as an edged weapon like a knife. Today, that was confirmed by police chief saying they were stabbed and that it appeared to be a targeted attack. Moscow police have also been saying that they do not believe there is an ongoing threat to the community, but they hadn't explained why that was the case, even though the search continues for the suspect. Several students have told us this week in light of that, they just don't feel safe on campus. Will Chief Fry address that today? Well, that's kind of an unknown. Like I said, we took the information that we had at the time. Um, but we do need to be aware the individual is still out there, right? Uh, we need to be vigilant. We need to uh, watch out for our neighbors. We're a community policing um, community. We've said that um, for years, and it's a community that watches out for each other. And we need to continue to do that until we can um, close this off and make an arrest. Well, Chief Fry said they currently have 25 investigators working on this case along with federal agents. They are asking the public to please contact them with any tips that could be useful in this investigation or, of course, if they know who the suspect may be. They want you to call them at their tip line. It is 208-883-7180. We'll also have that number up on our website momentarily, our website, of course, creme.com. And we will continue to monitor this story and bring you any updates as we get them.